Speaking of singing, oh, holy shit! The last S tier movie that we're gonna be talking about today, guys. Segway, uh, Def segway, Leppard's segway. Uh, pick of destiny. <laughs> Def Leppard. Same thing. Yeah, that's yeah. That's so, true. Uh, went into this not knowing what Tenacious Stop D was. Stop starting it off, Dylan. Let someone do the summary first. For the love I of God, I was doing Hunter, the summaries. give us the summary. Tanner, give us the summary. <laughs> so there's this band, um, right? So- yeah. <laughs> Well, you see, uh, a long-ass fucking time ago in a land called Kickapoo. Uh, <laughs> so we are introduced to our main character, JB, Jables. a.k.a. J- Jack Black. But I think I think they call him JB the entire movie. Or so. Jables. Yeah. But uh, he he's growing Jables. up in Missouri, and it fucking sucks. His dad is meatloaf, and he's an asshole. And, uh, mm. you know, he wants to rock and roll, but his dad's like, rock and roll is is Satan, so you can't do it. So JB, he has uh, some schizophrenic hallucinations, and they tell him to run away from home. And so he runs away from home when he's, like, 12 years old, and then for some reason he doesn't make it to Hollywood until he's in his late 20s. Oh, well, that's the right um, Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, well, he, he went to all the wrong... Even yeah, so, I don't Hollywood, think it should have man. taken that long. But, alas, he makes it to Hollywood, and he quickly discovers Kyle Gass, KG... Mm-hmm. Who uh, is just a, a fucking aficionado on the guitar? Mm-hmm. He's playing like his life is has it, it depends on it. It does. It does. At a certain point, it does. He's he's broke as fuck. He and he has a glorious mane of hair. Yes, and he always will. Yeah. Um, Jack Black starts working on befriending KG, and it kind of works. And then KG. Uh, basically takes J- JB under his wing. This, these acronyms fucking suck for making summaries. <laughs> but uh, Jables, we'll say. Yeah. Uh, they he befriends KG Cage. There we go. There K- you go. K- K- w- Cage. Fucking Christ. Jables Come. and Cage. <laughs> There you go. Jesus Christ. They befriend each other. Uh, Cage starts training JB, which kind of just involves him doing chores around his house and generally being taken advantage of. This eventually turns around when Jables discovers that Cage uh, does not have hair and he's a liar and he gets money from his parents. Um... And from there, the the movie kind of weirdly just switches the dynamic entirely, where now Jables is the one who's definitively in charge and makes all the decisions for both of them, but whatever. Uh, They decide, they they figure out that all the greatest rock bands uh, have this fucking pick, this magic Satan pick, and they say, ah, we gotta go get it. Uh, and the reason they gotta go get it is they want to win some, like, local bar, like, open mic contest. Oh, yeah. For, like, a hundred bucks so or some bullshit. So they can pay bullshit. the rent. Um, I forgot about that. Yeah, man. So they can pay the rent. Uh, so they travel to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They have some misadventures along the way. They break in, uh, fucking, uh, some celebrity camos are, camos, cameos are had along the way. They break in, they get the pick, they go back, they, uh, you know, fucking destroy... That uh, that little competition, and then Satan himself shows up. Oh my! And they challenge Satan to a fucking rock off, and then they kick his ass and send him back to hell. The end. So my question is, was JB's dad right the whole time? Yes. 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 Well, look at that. Listen to your parents, kids. All right, that's all for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very roundabout way to say listen to your parents. In all honesty. <laughs> So, first thing I want to ask. What's up? What What is each person's favorite song from this uh, from this movie? And for me, <laughs> it has to be Kickapoo. The uh-huh. intro is just, I think, pretty definitively the best song in the whole movie. It kicks it off so excellently, and it's so fucking catchy. Plus, we get not only the musical stylings of Jack Black, yeah. but it has Meatloaf and Rodney James Dio in it. Hmm. Wow. I mean, yeah, that's definitely the only song I remember from the movie. Uh, I got really worried at the beginning, thinking that it was just going to be a voiceover for older Jack Black over a younger version of Jack Black, which luckily didn't persist throughout the movie. That's something that worried I me a lot. I do want to say real quick here, that child actor they got for Jack Black looks a lot like what a young Jack <laughs> Black would look like. He really did, though. Wait, I need to fact check something. 
Because I knew I knew Jack Black was going to be in it, but I was like, how young is he going to be in this movie? Like, surely he's not going to be, ch- uh, like, child age. Hunter's checking uh, real quick to see if that was actually young Jack Black no. if they somehow got <laughs> I'm trying in, to in see. the film. This is... Actually, let me... I did find out. Jack Black's only, like, 53, and he looks old as fuck with a beard for some reason. It's like because 60... beards make you look older. Like, like 60, 70 years old, man. He's it's fucking 53. It's because he doesn't dye the beard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it, well, it's He's also aging weird gracefully. Like, the center of his beard is, like, gray, but, like, the outsides are brown. It's just an interesting thing to happen, but... That's what they call a skunk pattern, Dylan. Yeah, that. Yep. Have you found any information yet, Hunter? Oh, I was so right. So, huh. the young Jack Black in Tenacious D is also the guy who plays young Jack Black in Nacho Libre. No way. That's crazy. Because, they got the same kid yeah, twice Yeah, because I awesome. remember watching Nacho Libre, I'm like, that kid looks just like a young Jack Black, and it's the same kid, so that's actually fantastic. What's his name? His name is Troy Clock Gentile. Gentile? <laughs> yeah. Gentile. Huh. Interesting. Huh. That's a fun name. Now, Tanner, here's the thing about the songs in this film. Oh. Uh, so we've watched some other musicals uh, so far throughout this journey of ours, and I gotta say, this movie ain't no South Park, bigger, longer, uncut, my guy. The songs in this one are far, far less memorable than what we got over there. Uh, most of them felt incredibly samey overall to me. Uh, like Dylan was saying, the first one's really the only one that kind of stands out in my mind whatsoever that I really recall anything about. Okay. I will say, I think Kickapoo, better than any of the South Park movie songs. I think that's not at all true, Tanner. However, we will agree to disagree for now. To be perfectly honest, I feel like almost all of those kick kick Kickapoo's ass. Uh, Like, Blame Canada, definitely not it. Definitely not that one. Uh, but, uh, But fucking Kyle's mom is a bitch, definitely destroys it. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I didn't remember any of the songs from South Park at all. Kickapoo is like a full ass song, though. So are those ones. Kyle's mom is a bitch is not a full song. It's like a minute and a half long. <laughs> Some That's pretty D full for South Park. Pretty short, now, Jackson, though. how about you? I thought this movie was pretty... Oh, right, we're talking about the fucking uh, the songs? Yeah, we're talking about the songs here now. We're not on the rest of them film yet. My bad, yeah. I'm, I'm doing the fucking script right now to calculate the highest rated episode. Anyways, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I didn't like any of the songs, to be honest. I didn't think any of them were memorable at all. That's fair. I think uh, I think Tenacious D has very narrow. Yeah, I don't like that type of music at all. Yeah, it, it's not very widely accepted, especially considering a lot of Tenacious D's music like floods with Jack Black's like energy and his being. Because you know anything Jack Black does, he's very rambunctious and energetic about it. Which is also why I like him as an actor. He kind of just does whatever he wants. He just brings the energy into everything, which I think is awesome. Which is, like, one of the reasons I love Jack Black as an actor. But perhaps sometimes that's a bit too much when you can't really rein the guy in, you know? No, I, I think doing your own thing and being control is totally fine. This is, there's plenty of movies that I can't name right, right off the top of my head where... Uh, 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 Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, fucking, uh, what's his Johnny name? Depp. Uh, uh, Robert, Robert, what? Johnny Depp. Were you about yeah. to say Robert Downey Jr.? I sure was. I, I constantly get their names mixed up. Uh, they had a they had an idea for the character of what they wanted Jack Sparrow to be, and then Johnny Depp fucking did his own thing. They're like, all right, I guess this is the way that Jack Sparrow is now because we like this way better. So I think it's t- t- per- perfectly acceptable to have an actor do their own thing and have it be better than what they expected. But that doesn't always work. For example, this Gotta have movie. The Riz, man. <laughs> Gotta have the Riz. Now, when it comes to this film, uh. Similar to used cars, I gotta say, I just did not jive with the humor whatsoever in this one. Used cars is very much so like a dad movie. This is a fucking stoner movie, Tanner. That's very all true. this was. It was just fucking stoner uh, jokes the entire time. There was a single joke I laughed at throughout this whole thing. Jackson knows the one well. Jackson, would you like to reiterate what it was for us? Oh yeah, I was fucking cracking up when he was tripping on mushrooms. And <laughs> That's the best scene. He, he cuts it. He, he cuts it as being fucking thrown down a goddamn <laughs> raging river. It's so yeah. funny. That was the, the funniest thing ever. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking love that scene. Definitely the best scene great. in the movie. Yeah, for sure. It was so good. Yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of musicals. Uh, I don't know what that Is says this? about me. Probably, well, that I'm anti-Pride Month. But... What? 
get it because gay people like musicals. Okay, never mind. Oh, okay. That's a, I feel like that's a fair assumption. But what I'm really... Uh, yeah, no, I'm not a huge fan of musicals, but I thought it was a fun movie, and I, I think my Jack Black bias is going to get me somewhere here. Is this Push that bias musical? out right now, Hunter, you piece of shit. We don't want any <laughs> of that here. You're supposed to leave that at the door. You take it back. He did oh. Nacho Libre. <laughs> That movie was also bad. You're wrong. That movie was not bad. You're wrong. Have you seen School of Rock, you idiot? <laughs> that movie was good from what I remember, but it's been too long since I've seen it, so I can't give you an accurate uh, sort of That's review. That's what I thought. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Nico, what are you ranking this movie? Tanner, you haven't really even said your thoughts on the film at all. All you said uh, was that you liked the music. <laughs> it's a musical. Isn't that <laughs> enough? <laughs> There was so much more to it, though. None of it was good, granted, I, but there was more to it. I liked it. all the cameos. I liked it. Opinions. I liked it. I thought it was a silly, classic stoner movie, and I found yeah. it entertaining. Yeah, I agree. Well, if you, you liked go. it so much, how about you put your money where the mouth is, Tanner, and give where it a ranking? Where the here. mouth is. Uh, mouth I'm ranking it a B minus. I didn't think it was that good. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. All right. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, how about you, Dylan? <laughs> God damn, Tanner, you were, you were, you were, you gave me false hope there, man. Uh, I'm gonna give this movie an A minus. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what, man? Fuck you! Whatever. <laughs> you said that this week we'd have pretty good movies, so I'm keeping. Yeah, that I trend. lied because I didn't want to get anyone's hopes up and uh, like you know rank any of the other movies lower uh, to like you know kind of spite me for what I would be th- saying about Jack Black later. Huh? Interesting. Hunter, We're surrounded by a spiteful it? bunch here. Hunter, how do you feel about it? Yeah, like, it's a B. I'm gonna give it a B. Damn. Like, it's like a pretty, like, it's a good movie, but I'm probably not gonna show it to everyone in the world, but I enjoyed watching it. Fair enough. All right, Nico? now for me, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, like, I'm ready, I think. Uh, maybe. We'll see. I swear Hold on. to God. Let me brace myself. Hold on. If it's uh, in the negative tiers, that's gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, cut I mean, him off and say D plus. <laughs> is that okay. your ranking for it, or your predicted ranking for Nico? No, that's my that's my rank. All right, D plus, not bad. Not bad. D plus. Yeah, D. That's what I said. What? Oh, okay. Well, Wait. you were just commenting. I said D, not B. You were commenting oh on it better not be in the negative Jesus for Nico. Christ. It's not bad. Like, what? D plus. Bro. Yeah. Oh my god. D ranks really, are really for like actively it. bad movies. What are we I talking about? I think this is about? an actively bad movie. Jesus. Have you like, listened to it right, <laughs> Twist the knife, Nico. Do it. Let's hear it. I appreciate that, Jackson. That's actually the exact rank I was thinking this entire Fuck, time. Fuck, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> but I was god. looking over my list and I was like, man, I have a lot of D plus ranked movies. Is it really the same as these? But... Yeah, I'd say so. I think it's a oh, D plus. Jesus fucking Christ. This is why I don't look at my list. I'll look at the list if I need, like, grounded perspective. And I only do that with the movies you guys have already watched. So, like, you know. This is my seventh D plus rank movie. Dang. Jesus Christ. Okay, <laughs> like, earnestly, you think Pick of Destiny is on tier with Free Willy Escape from Pirate's Cove or Power Rangers? Yeah. Yeah. What the that's, fuck? That's that is so an absurd thing to insane. say. Tanner, you have to keep in mind here. I didn't laugh at any of the jokes except for a single one that's this movie. Your I didn't fault. really care about any of the music. This so is what insane. is there to this movie in that case? I guess that's fair. That's a, <laughs> whatever, that's a skill issue or whatever then. <laughs> We're going yeah, I just thought it was really issue. I thought it was really boring throughout most of it was my my general synopsis. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, the... yeah. where is this thing landing then? <laughs> All right, I'm this is a controversial a one here, guys. It right. sure is. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at my rankings C here. Plus. I'll write a C plus. There we yeah, go. Okay. C plus. That's fair. 